broke boy, broke boy, broke boy, broke boy, bow. I don't pay to win, I am broke, yeah. I don't got no bread, I need a loaf. Buying FIFA points is a joke, yeah. Road to glory coming for your throat, baby. Don't try to play me, my skill game is crazy. No. One star. I'm eating the ops cause they looking so tasty ha. Gold thread Give me the ball and I swear that I'm so wet yeah. No stress I'm hitting the lead, you ain't stopping my progress Bow. What is the word YouTube? It is your boy One Star Week for the You and Now watching another episode of the Broke Boy Road to Glory And first and foremost, I gotta wish everybody that's watching this video a happy, happy New Year's. I hope everybody enjoys their day some way, somehow Um, And I got a question for you guys at home what has been your favorite memory of 2020 so far? It could be FIFA related. It could be non-FIFA related. It could be soccer related. It could be related to nothing at all. I just want to know what your favorite memory is of 2020 because I think it's very easy to, to focus on the negative, all the bad things that have happened in 2020. But there is some positive, I think, in everybody's year. Um, or, or at least I hope so. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section down below. What has been your favorite memory of 2020? I'll share mine. Once a couple of you guys have shared yours um, and, and everything like that. Um, but that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for today, we are here to gather around and watch me open these foot champions rewards. As you guys know, I had a pretty good weekend league. I finished 17 and six. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to play anymore. If I did, I do think I really would have hit gold one. I was really uh, playing some great FIFA. I was in great form. Um, I practiced a lot in division one before the weekend league. So I thought that I, I was in really good form and I hope to continue that this weekend. Um, hopefully EA does give us something. It's hard to get excited because the team of the week is not that great. I think the only card I really want out of team of the week is Marcus Rashford. I think that card is insane. Other than that, I mean, there's not many cards really to get excited about, but it is what it is. We're going to move on, move strong. Player pick number two. Can we get an English flag, please, and not soccer? I think I said it too late. I said, don't give me soccer. EA goes ahead and gives me soccer. To be fair, he's actually a very exciting player in real life. And I would like to have his card because of that. Um, I would just like to use him just because I like him in real life. But realistically speaking, I should take Calandrulu or Ruben Garcia. Just for the rating. And I think I will be taking Kalanjou. 82 rated. Thank you very much, EA. Not the best <laughs> set of picks at all. Player pick number one. Give me that English flag. Marcus Rashford. No soccer, please. What are we saying? Oh, Carrasco. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Um, I forgot he was in Team of the Week. Does he make my starting lineup? Probably not. But when you look at this card, he makes an insane super sub. And for a lot of people, would be an insane starter. Let me know in the comments if you want me to review him. I think he's actually a very exciting card. Probably one of our best pulls in weeks and weeks. So I'm going to take that as a W. We're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it grooving to our packs. And it's been a while since I hit gold two. Normally, I stop at gold three if uh, the weekend league's not going well. Or I push for gold one. So gold two has been a while. We have 25k packs. We have two rare mega packs. We're going to start off, of course, from least to greatest. Rare gold pack. Number one, I'm going to take a sip of this pre-workout because I'm about to get a workout in. What are we saying? Who's working out on New Year's? Me. Argentinian flag striker. Can we get an Aguero? We're not. We're not even going to get an Icardi. We're going to get a Higuain. 83 rated. Can we get his teammate Matuidi? That would make it a little bit better. Matuidi? No. Colorado 82. Not too bad. Um, we get some things to quick sell because they're never going to sell. And we're going to sell Cucharella as well. 1.2 thousand. Welcome to the club. We got 255k packs to go. We also have 100k to play with on the screen. So we're not in a bad position at all. Rare Mega Pack number two is where we're going to start. Oh, man. It kind of sucks because I think if I got gold one, you probably could have convinced me to wait till tomorrow to open my packs because headliners are going to happen tomorrow. But being that we're not gold one. Um, and these packs aren't that amazing. I'm just going to pop them over today. We do get Paulinho. Urzel as well. Somehow he's still 82 rated even though he is not even registered to play. But it is what it is. Um, 
I actually wonder where Urzel's gonna go after this year. Does he have anything left in the tank? Arsenal fans, let me know. What do you guys think of uh, Urzel? A lot of Arsenal fans seem to think very negatively of him. Like, they think that he hasn't really been arsed to put in the shift uh, ever since he's been benched and it's just gotten worse. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of him. Um, where do you think he's gonna go? Because I do think there is something left to him, even though he's not a modern player by any means. I do think there are lower table teams that could use somebody like Urzel. But that's just me. Rare Mega Pack number one. What are we saying? EA, talk to me nice. It's been a while. It's been a while, I know. I haven't heard from you in a while. Is this going to be at least a board? No, it's not. Those are going to be our gold two rewards. And to be honest, like I said, I always say when I hit gold two, I don't really expect the top of the top. But this is still pretty disappointing. Um, <laughs> I think the best pull was the 83 rated. We did get Carrasco. So that's a W. But everything else was fairly disappointing but it's okay we have rivals rewards our first set of division one rewards and the funniest thing about it is i got relegated from division one <laughs> i got relegated from division one guys um because as you guys know i played 23 games of the weekend league that left me with seven games left to grind to hit rank two and in the process while i was trying to hit rank two in division one the gameplay was extremely extremely delayed i'm not sure if it's my internet I don't think it is because the ping is always good but the gameplay was delayed and as you guys know the competition in division one is so so hard so when you play in those conditions it's not hard to see why i got relegated um i didn't even hit rank two that's the worst part about it i couldn't even hit rank two the threshold for rank two in division one is so high so maybe i'm better off in rank uh in division two honestly because i'm never gonna hit rank one in division one it seems like it's very hard to do so rank two is probably where we're gonna settle in that and you end up just getting four rare mega packs for that we're in rank three and we're only gonna get two rare mega packs so these are some of the worst rewards i think for time bet time ratio like let's say you see how much time you put in and what you get out of it i'm, I'm doing a bad <laughs> job of explaining it but you know what i mean it's a bad time to reward ratio rank three division one rivals but it is what it is we will take what we get once again if we had the ultimate packs i probably would have waited till headliners drop tomorrow to open them but being that these are just rare mega packs and mega packs i mean why not right why not just pop them open for the boys mega pack number two that's what we're going to start today can we at least get one walkout i think that would be a w nope not even a board it's gonna be a scudero 80 rated the best thing from a mega pack this is what my division one <laughs> this is what my division one ranking died for escudero not good enough ea please give me more mega pack number one make it pop please man carrasco's been nice but i need more than just carrasco you know that it's gonna be at least a board what are we saying mexican flag striker raul jimenez okay you know what that's a start on the right foot it's an 84 rated and 84 rated yesterday were goddamn extinct i mean a lot of them were extinct this card was selling for like 9k i packed them on my other account and that was massive <laughs> 9k for 84 it's crazy times here i want more um sbc fodder too because i kind of want to do that base or mid icon pack let me know in the comments should i do it should i not are you guys gonna do it um, by the way, if you want me to open any packs for you, all you gotta do is hit me um, on YouTube, hit me up on Twitter at One Star Weakfoot, and we can make it happen. But yo, we got two more rare, rare mega packs to go. We're gonna start off with pack number two, as always. Can we please get something? We have gotten the 83 or 84, and this one's gonna be a Libertadores card, which you hate to see. But it's okay, because under him, it can still be an 85 never mind we're just gonna get 283s <laughs> uh typical ea man these packs are typical ea you can't even hate on it because you know it's gonna happen you still play the game at the end of the day i have no one to blame but myself rare mega pack number one it is a lottery can i hit the lottery today what are we saying i think that's at least a board right uruguayan flag center back Godin. okay we have some fodder i will say these rewards if anything did give us a little bit of fodder not that much because that'll be too much for ea but just a little bit just a little bit <laughs> an 85 and nothing else in this pack 
and we always pack this mario fernandez guy it is what it is those are going to be our rivals rewards once again i got relegated to division two so that's the last time you're going to see division one rivals rewards on this account for a while um but it is what it is um we move we do have some sbcs to do and part of me wants to do them tomorrow like we got the marquee matchups right where is it we always got the marquee matchups <laughs> right there and i know there's another new year's sbc right there untradeable rare electrum and the marquee matchups give us a mega pack part of me wants me to do them tomorrow but i know i'm not gonna pack anything if i do them tomorrow so we're gonna do it right now i will be right back yes guys we are done with marquee matchups as of right now and it was actually a little tricky to do it i'm not gonna lie these um SBCs get harder and harder every week because I'm just addicted to doing repeatable SBCs and losing everything on my club for nothing. But it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. We got some packs to open. Some of these are actually pretty good packs. And hopefully we pack something to really give us a boost because um, I want to bring something big into our team for the weekend league. So here we go. We're going to start it off with the 15K pack. You know, imagine we pack... A Rashford. Our lives are changed. It is changed forever. This one looks like it's going to be a board. No, it's not. I was lying. It's going to be Suarez, but not the Uruguayan Suarez you want. The Uruguayan Suarez that nobody ever wants to pack in life. But it's okay. <clears throat> Ranieri. How the mighty have fallen. From winning the league with Leicester to getting discarded from one star's pack. I'm sorry it had to be you, but it had to be you. Gold players pack. I'm sorry, my, my throat's kind of scratchy. What are we saying? Oh, no, nothing. Zilch, nada. Get it off my screen, man. Torreira, once again, an Uruguayan player. <clears throat> we also get Gabriel, Ben Mee. Nothing really to write home about, but maybe they're warming me up for a Suarez, you know? And a Suarez would not be a bad pull. Then I could then throw him into the base or mid icon SBC. But I digress. Prime Electrum Players Pack. What does that have in store for us? It's going to be a UCL card uh, walkout. Croatian. Left mid. Perisic. I hate these. Yo, I hate these guys. This is a fake board. Not even 83. It's 82 rated. Ivan Perisic. And the only good news here is that there could be something else under him. And there's not. Of course there's not. Why would there be anything under him? It's okay. <laughs> I'm not mad. You're mad. What else is in here? Richie. Nope. He doesn't sell. All right. <laughs> Lamer might sell. I'm going to throw him on the transfer list. This guy will get quick sold with the quickness. Um, rare makes players pack. There is nothing rare about what I've packed so far. Let's not lie. There is nothing rare about the Ivan Perisic that nobody wants. This one's not even going to be a board. Our luck is just not in today. What do I have to say? We're going to get this guy. I can't even pronounce his name. And he's 81 rated. Stuani as well. We have gotten so many Uruguayans. We're even getting the Libertadores Uruguayans. <laughs> Give me a Suarez and I, I won't get mad. I promise you. I promise you. Let's see if this guy sells. There is a Bundesliga SBC they dropped today. So players like this might sell. So just in case you got them in the club, it doesn't hurt to throw them on the transfer market. Um... 600 wouldn't be a bad price. You know, honestly, I'll take that. Uh, the MLS card as well might sell. I think that SBC is still up. But maybe I'm wrong because it doesn't look like there is a market for him. I might as well keep him at this rate. Uh, these guys kind of sell too. These silver Libertadores cards. These things hit. Uh, so maybe I'll throw them on the transfer list. Maybe I'll use them in a Libertadores SBC. Who knows? We're going to keep it moving and grooving for the grand finale of the Marquee Matchups reward set. Mega Pack. Is there going to be something mega about this pack? Or is it going to be trash? We're going to see. It's going to be at least a board, so that is promising. Brazilian. Right mid. Lucas. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. It's not a mega card. It's not great. But these cards do sell for a little bit. Um, I expect them to be at least 5k. And that's 5k that we didn't have before <laughs> so there's that um i don't think any of these guys will sell go quick sell these contracts right here right quick wow you see what i'm saying like the servers are so slow sometimes that i can't even quick sell efficiently 
Yo, this locomotive uh, kit is actually pretty dope. This one would be dope if the logo wasn't on it. This portal kit's actually nice too. Uh, let me see how much Lucas is selling for right quick. He is selling for about 8K. You know what? I'm gonna have to take that. He's gonna go on the transfer list. We're gonna keep it moving and grooving. Um, I'm gonna do the New Year's SBC and I will be, as always, right back. All right, guys, so the good news. We have done four more packs. Um, the bad news, they're all untradeable, all right? Uh, so I'm doing one of the Libertadores packs I needed to do, which is the Electron Players pack. They did drop the Champions League League SBC again. I did the first two, which gave me a Mega Pack and a Prime Gold Players pack. And then I went to Bundesliga and did the Bayern SBC, which then also gives you a Prime Gold Players pack. So there's a lot of things on offer right now. Can we pack something decent, please? Electrum Players Pack number one. What are we saying? EA, can you please give me something? No, there's nothing. That is nothing. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it grooving. Um, because this is absolute shambles. <laughs> yeah. Nothing good there at all. Hamsick. I remember his flashback card, I think was it last year. It was really fun. Yeah. Oh, that was tradable. I did not know that was tradable, but it's okay. We have a mega pack and two 45k packs. I think I'm going to start off with the mega pack. Is EA going to be kind to us today? I mean, it is the holiday season. Can we get an English flag just one time? Brazilian, Cam. We love to pack the CSL boys. We got Paulinho today. Now we're getting Oscar, Payet, Palatino. Palatino, I said Palatino. I don't know what I'm saying. Nothing of note there. We have two 45K packs though. So if EA could just be so kind as to give us maybe an icon, our second icon pack of the year, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> the luck is just not in today. It is what it is. Um, you already know. When your luck is in, it's in. And when it's not, I mean, it can be harsh. It can be bad. It could be just like this episode. Final prime gold players pack. I was going to do the New Year's challenge, but it was annoying. Like you have to have five players from the same club. So I didn't even do it. Maybe I should have. Maybe it would have been better than this because this is absolute and utter shambles. Wow. 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 <laughs> Those are going to be our packs for today. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys pack today? I don't know why the pack weight is so low for us. I mean, it's a pretty bad like there's nothing really in packs right now. You could at least throw us a bone maybe. But I guess EA does not operate that way. I should not question them because they make record profits every year. And they, they, this is going to be our team right now. All right. Let me throw our boy Carrasco into the mix. And then we have an interesting conundrum. Uh, where is he? Carrasco right here. Maybe I should throw Ndidi on the bench as well because he looks like a beast. Um, Ndidi. Thank you very much. All right, so it's gonna be very clear that Carrasco takes somebody's spot on the bench. Honestly, I think he has to take Aubameyang spot. Aubameyang is kind of clunky for how I like to play. We could also start him. That's an option. I think I'm gonna sell Kaká. We're taking a loss on him, but there's been just a massive, massive uh, market crash that has been happening today because I bought him for 1.78. He is now 1.6. Who I want to replace him with is Eto, um, so I can have a three-pronged attack with Ronaldo, Dalglish, and Eto with Carrasco ready and reared to come off the bench. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, what do you think I should do? What player do you think I should look for? I am leaning towards an attacker because our midfield looks very solid with Renato, Essien, um, Conte as an option, and Didi as an option. I do think I should be going for an attacking option here. Let me know in the comment section down below. What did you guys pack? And I will see you in the next episode. But until then.